Hi everyone, my name is Dean and today I'm going to show you how to get started with DAGSHUB in three minutes. First thing you want to do is sign up for DAGSHUB. You can do that with your GitHub account or with your email. You can then click the sign in button and put in your uh, email and password, sign into DAGSHUB, and you will be brought to the dashboard. Here we're going to create a new repository. We'll call it Quick Start. And we'll leave all the rest of the settings as usual. And now what we're going to do is we're going to push a repository that I've already created locally into our DAGSUB project. So if I do tree, you can see that this project has a code.py, has a data folder with image inside it, and has a metrics.csv and a parameter YAML file that have been created already. And so what we're going to do is we're going to initialize git by doing git init, and we're going to initialize dvc by doing dvc init. If you don't have dvc installed, you can do it with pip three install dvc but in our case it's already installed now what we're going to do is we're going to add the various files so we'll start by adding the data folder by doing dvc add data dvc will think for a moment and that will be added and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add everything else to git because except for the data i want everything to be pushed into my git folder so i'm going to do git add period and now what i'm going to do is git commit minus m initial initial commit of code data and now let's add the remote so i'm going to do this by copying in the commands from my uh, repository page and i'll add the dvc remote as well we're going to modify this the dvc remote settings so that it asks for a password every time uh, i try to push data and so i'm going to do this and one last command. Awesome, and we're ready to push. So now I'm going to do git push origin master, which will push in my git files. And I'm going to do um, dvc push minus r origin. It will ask me for my password. So I'm going to put it in. And now that it's pushed, I can refresh my page. And I'm going to see a few things. So first I can see my code.py, which is not very surprising. I can also dive into my data folder where I can see the image that I uploaded, which is relevant to this project. And finally, I can go to experiments, uh, to the experiments tab where I can see a few details about my experiment. So I can see in blue, the parameter and in uh, purple, the metric I can jump into this and see a graph of that metric. And that's it. That's how you get started with DAXUP in three minutes.